Good afternoon, Burke's Ribbon clients. Uh, again, Jay, Ben and I are wanting to just give you a little update on a couple of the significant things that have happened recently. Today, we wanted to just touch on the JobKeeper initiative from the federal government and particularly important today because as of today, it's uh, formally been passed through legislation. The JobKeeper initiative, which Ben and Jay will expand on a bit, is basically an employer opportunity to seek some financial assistance to keep their employees in employment. And it's available for a range of different employers or a range of different employees, both full-time, part-time and casual. It'll be uh, available to you, but you must apply. So I guess the introduction is simply it's now available. The employer, if you're an employer, member of our client group, you should be seeking it. If you're an employee, member of our client group, talk to your employer about it. So the detail, I'll hand over to Jay and Ben now to talk in a bit more detail. JB, your turn, mate, far away. Hey, mate. Yeah, so eligibility from an employer perspective, I think the thing to think about here is, uh, are you an employer? And uh, an employer may also uh, fall into the self-employed category as well. So um, they actually extended it. So now employers includes not-for-profits uh, and the, the eligibility is pretty broad. So you have to have turnover of less than a billion dollars. Uh, and have turnover that has fallen or will likely fall uh, by 30% or more. So um, self-employed individuals, I think that's the key one too. So if you're employing people or you're a self-employed person, you potentially have eligibility to this. Uh, it is really important, particularly with all of these government uh, supports, everything will be managed through the government portals. So. Um, almost all of the government subsidies or support will come through the Medicare system, the tax system, um, or the Centrelink system. So in this instance, uh, there's a link which will attach uh, under this video, which has um, where you go to actually register if you haven't already. Uh, my hand over to you, Ben, just to touch on who are eligible employees and what they're actually entitled to. Yeah, perfect. So obviously this one, uh, one of the key things is this one is driven from your employer and through that line. So we're not, we're not talking about a Centrelink benefit here. So the people that are eligible are ones that have just been stood down, reduced capacity. Uh, they're, they've got a role that they could be going back to. So as a payment, you would have probably heard it's 1500 per fortnight. How that actually applies uh, is where there's a little bit of complexity and it's different for everyone. So for some people, they might not have been earning 1500 a fortnight before tax, not even that is, it is taxable income uh, at the moment. Potentially those people will get paid more than what they were earning while they were working. So that is important to note that you will get that 1500 per fortnight if your employer is eligible and you're an eligible employee, which I'll touch on in a second. The other side of that is that your employer might choose to top it up. So you could get 1500 from from the JobKeeper program plus whatever your employer pays on top of that. So it, it is going to be a little bit different for everyone. It will depend on the circumstances of their employment. Uh, in terms of who is eligible, full-time and part-time employees are fine. It's casuals where there'll be a little bit of um, room for some issues. You need to be employed for a 12 month period at least. So potentially there's going to some, be some casual employees that, that do miss on this system. And we'll talk about the job seeker program a little bit in another uh, episode uh, to come. But uh, for you guys that are eligible, this is the one you need to be speaking to your employer. So you need to be set up on MyGov, like Jay said, but this is going to be ran through the employer. And essentially it will just get paid from the employer into your account as if it's just your salary. So it's just the government supporting your employer to pay you and keep you in a job. And for many people, friends and family I've spoken to already, it might be that they haven't lost their role uh, altogether they might be scaled back but this will keep them in a job that there'll be something on the other side of this that it keeps you in a role which can be expanded back to its normal capacity on the other side and I think that it might not be the same dollars and cents that you've got before but it, it keeping you in a position that we can return you to that afterwards back to the normal capacity so any any yeah. points from uh, either of you guys on, on this, top of this that? Is effective from effective as of the 1st of March, is that correct Ben? So this one, yes, so uh, end of March, so the first payment will come in May and it's a six month term, so through to about the end of September. So 
we've if, got... you were, if you were employed or have had a situation where your employment changed as of first of March or yes, that's correct. That. Yeah. yeah, and it kicks in from for payment from the thirtieth. So then uh, another thing is, and this is probably for some casual employees, especially, is that you can only claim it from one employer. So if you do have multiple employers you need to make sure you're not claiming it from both of them. Uh, so just ensuring that, that you tick that box, make sure you're not trying to double dip, uh, it will come back to haunt you. So uh, anything on that, Jay? I was going to say one of the other keys is uh, this is new to a lot of employers. They're all scrambling around this. If you're an employee and you haven't heard, it's not a bad idea to remind your employer. And again, if you're a self-employed, as I said, uh, which we have many self-employed clients, uh, this where registering is the key. And actually, I might just quickly share screen. So just while we were talking, uh, I brought up, hopefully you can see that, Ben and Peter. Yep. Yep. Okay, so on the, uh, the job keeper payment for employers, uh, there's a section here on how to apply. Uh, it, ta it takes you through to register your interest. And there is a, a link through to the ATO portal um, to register for JobKeeper updates. So it's really important if you're an employer or self-employed uh, that you uh, you follow that link. I'll make sure that link's attached to this video. And again, this is not just for our clients. If you've got friends and family that you think might be impacted by this, uh, feel free to copy the link. Pass, pass it on. This, this recording also too um, will be on a YouTube link that we can share privately to, to people if need be. Uh, so please just keep asking us questions. Uh, we'll come up with, uh, as Ben said, another job seeker um, video just to give you a breakdown on that. And we've got plenty more in store because uh, there's lots to talk about. So uh, I think that's it. PB, did you want to add anything else, Ben? No, uh, just, good. Just uh, the only thing is that we, we don't have all the answers for everything, but we can assist you to find or source yeah. those answers. We hopefully can be the gatekeeper for lots of things for you. All right, great. Thanks, guys, and everyone have a great Easter if we don't send another video message before the end of today. Have a great Easter, a safe Easter, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. And a healthy one. Correct. Bye.